Absolutely. And really, this tornado, according to Governor Greg Abbott, who had a press conference yesterday, it cut a path of destruction around 50 miles here in North Texas. Now, uh, we've only gotten a preliminary rating of EF2 from the National Weather Service, but it's incredible seeing the destruction of this gas station behind me, where dozens of people went to seek shelter during this tornado late Saturday night. This is along I-35, a lot of people traveling for Memorial Day. And it's amazing to think that everybody made it out alive from this gas station. There were some injuries, but everybody made it out with their lives. That unfortunately was not the case for so many people. Unfortunately, seven people dead here uh, in North Texas, 100 people injured and among the dead, a two-year-old and a five-year-old. Governor Greg Abbott yesterday saying that that two-year-old and five-year-old came from the same family. Now, this tornado struck here late Saturday night, uh, cutting a path of destruction through an RV park. It destroyed more than 200 homes, damaged around 120 others. Now, addressing reporters, Governor Abbott pledged his support for storm victims and spoke about how in the immediate aftermath of the tornado, everyday Texans came to each other's aid. I'm proud of America and our state for coming together at times like these. And my urge to everybody across our state, take a moment in time tonight to say a prayer for everybody who is in harm's way. They need your prayers. They need your support. And God willing, we will help them rebuild their lives as quickly as possible. Between Friday and Sunday, there were 38 confirmed tornadoes that touched down across 10 states. The death toll from these tornadoes has been climbing. Along with the seven dead in North Texas, two people died after an EF3 tornado hit northeastern Oklahoma. Eight storm-related deaths were reported in Arkansas, and two people are dead in Kentucky. The storm Sunday morning caused a delay at the Indy 500. After lightning was detected in the area, officials paused pre-race activities, and fans had to leave the grandstands and snake pit. Fans were allowed to return a few hours later, and the race eventually got underway. Power outages have also been a big issue with these storms. Hundreds of thousands of customers have been without power, and right now in Kentucky, around 200,000 customers are currently in the dark, waking up without power. This is a big issue across the heartland because we're seeing sweltering temperatures and no AC in places without electricity. A tough go of it for people who now have to clean up after these tornadoes.